Hi, I'm Carrie Moeller, and I am interviewing an ER nurse named Jenny Snyder, and I'm going to ask her some questions about her career. As a nurse, how long is your schooling, and what did you go to go to for your certain degree? Well, at, there's various levels of nursing. Mine is an RN, and I actually got an associate degree initially at Lima Tech, which is now Rhodes. And then I went back to Wright State and got my bachelor's degree. But they both sit for the same exam. Okay. So. What were your first steps in becoming a nurse? Um, well, I started out as an STNA in a nursing home, and then I that helped me go through school. So, and then I just went on for my associate degree because I was a single parent. So I went the quickest route so I could get that RN quicker, and then I went on for my bachelor's degree after I was a little more established. What is a normal day for you? Hmm. <laughs> um, well, a normal day for an ER nurse is 12 hours on the floor, pretty much nonstop. You don't get much time to sit down. Um, you know, you're taking care of the acute patient and their family that could be in crisis. So, um, you know, we have simple things, things that you would think people would go to the family doctor for, such as, you know, a sprained ankle or sore throat to the motor vehicle accidents. Um, you know, I work in Lima, so we do get the gunshots and overdoses and things like that. So, um, you know, it's taking care of them, stabilizing them, getting them ready to go to the floor. Um, what level of nursing is your favorite? Um, by that, do you mean there's so many different kinds of nursing that is why I love nursing because you don't have to get a new degree to change so I know you had spoke about being yeah. an OB nurse so there's certifications and things like that to go with it but you don't have to go back to school per se and get another degree and then you could switch to ER when you decide yeah. to come my way but anyways <laughs> um <laughs> but um I have tried different um like med med surge I've tried um some house supervision um, even patient advocacy I've done, I've always been called back to the ER. ER. So I've done, I've been a nurse for 24 years and I've done ER for 19 of them. Wow. So that would have to be my favorite. Um, to get an STNA, what would you recommend doing to prepare yourself? That's a lot different than it used to be. Um, go to Apollo now, I think, for STNA, or um, Rhodes, I think, has Rhodes, an STNA I know program Rhodes. as yeah. well. Ours was, my STNA program was right in the nursing home, so you just wow. got it right there. So um, it was a little bit different than what it is now. Um, I don't think you really can prepare for it, but I think that it's a really good idea for anyone who's thinking about going in any type of medical field, whether it be medical assistant, LPN, RN, or um, physician, I think the STNA, because it kind of gets your feet wet, gives you a little bit of knowledge, and you know, it kind of lets you know what you're in for. <laughs> what made you consider being a nurse? Um, I always, my mom had these school books. Every year you filled out what you wanted to be from kindergarten on. I always had nurse, teacher, or firefighter. Wow. <laughs> um, so I had always had that, and we had a neighbor um, next to us, an elderly couple, and I just always was taking care of them, taking them food, taking, helping them take care of their dogs when they couldn't do that, and just um, cleaning their house for them and you know, helping them. So I think that was just always my passion, was caring for people. So I'd have to say it started very young. Do you think nursing is respected in this country? I do for the most part. Um, I really do. Um, we actually, I know recently in light of the view, you know, giving us such a 
notoriety. Um, I was surprised at how much outpouring of support the nurses did get. Um, you know, obviously there's some people out there that don't think, you know, we deserve respect, but yeah. for the most part, I think we do. Yeah. What are some difficult tasks you have to deal with before? Um, hmm. That's a tough one. Usually it's a family. Yeah. Usually it's a family. Usually the, the patients are really good. Usually family because they are stressed. They're scared because their family member's sick or dying. And um, so I think those are probably the scariest, um, especially if the patients passed away unexpectedly. Sometimes families can, you know, you're you're the person telling them, so yeah. they can get angry at you. So there have been a few times that you feel like it could be a hostile situation, um, for sure. Um, I used to work at a smaller hospital, didn't have security, so it was a lot more tense sometimes. Now we have security, we actually have police, so um, you feel a little more safe. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. How do you think the nursing profession will change in the next 10 years? Um, well, for instance, our hospital is trying to get magnet um, status, which means that a certain percentage, a high percentage of their nurses have to have bachelors, have to be bachelors prepared. Wow. So I think that's the way um, it's going um, because unfortunately hospitals and doctor's offices are competitive and um, so people look online can find out all your statistics and all that so you know you have to be the best for patients to want to come to you and so being bachelor driven is good um nurse practitioners you know now used to have to just have a master's degree they're leaning towards making them have a doctorate so um a lot of opportunities for nursing out there to grow and become more um, appreciated as professionals so Um, do you think it was easy to get into a hospital, like during your period of? Yes, um, hospitals always need nurses. You may not be able to get in exactly what you want initially, but um, you can at least get your foot yeah. in the door and then work your way towards um, towards that. And that's the other thing that's great about nursing is you don't have to even leave your company to change your position. Yeah. You can stay within the same company and still you know, get to a different position. So a lot of room for growth in a hospital. Depending on what type of nurse you are, what is something that you look forward to every day? Hmm. Well, in the ER, it, there is not a day I don't learn something new. And I've been a nurse for 24 years, so that says a lot, I think. Um, you know, things are always changing. Um, they find things that work better or don't work, but there's always something different that comes in the door. You know, you, you think you've seen it all, and then you're like, mm, wow, <laughs> caught me off guard there, you know? <laughs> so, so um, you know, there's always something different that comes in, and it, it can be a same type of patient as far as complaint, but not everyone's textbook, so things, you know, are always different and that's why I like ER because it keeps my I always have to be thinking and I like that do your so. shifts go fast do you feel like typically yes okay yes at least where I work they do because yeah. we're constantly busy yes What does nursing provide for your family? Um, well, income. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I would have to say on that, like um, in the past eight years, you know, we've had a lot of illness within our family. So I think that it has been good for my family. They've been able to ask me, like they don't have to call the doctor or the nurse to see what's going on. They could just use me as a resource. 
and I think, um, you know, I know you said family, but I think lots of times, you know, friends do the same oh, thing. Yeah. So, um, however, I will have to say when my kids are sick or injured, my nursing goes out the window because I become a mom. So, <laughs> so. Um, as a nurse, do you deal with stress? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. But it's typically, it's usually good stress. I mean, um, I think maybe the thing that stresses me the most is when a patient's upset or a family's upset with care or an outcome and you can't make them understand or make them happy because yeah. I kind of like everyone to be happy. So I think that probably is my biggest stress or if I feel like someone thinks I, like even a coworker thinks that my intention was different than what it was. Does yeah. that make sense? Yep. Because there's a lot of teamwork involved, especially in the ER. Do you believe you're considered a leader in your certain level? I do. Um, well, I actually am in management now, so I actually just started that position I'm in my fifth day wow. so oh yeah <laughs> so um but prior to that when I worked the floor a lot of the my coworkers would come to me and ask me for help in doing things or ask questions about something that they're doing um and then I went into the role of an educator in the ER just an emergency room educator so obviously that role was more of a leader role and now I'm a team coordinator for second shift so um, so I'm a supervisor over that, so definitely at least my bosses yes. think I'm a leader. Yes. So, um, but I've really enjoyed that so far, five days. <laughs> <laughs> what factors are most important to your job satis satisfaction, including hours, pay, location, hospital? Um, definitely love the hospital setting. Um, that's my, my comfort. Um, I like my hours there. I work four tens now. Um, prior to taking this job, I did three twelves. And, um, prior to that, I did three twelves in every third weekend and every third holiday, which is really nice because for me, that allowed me when my kids were growing up, I never missed a single sporting event. Um, because you can be flexible with trading and everything and um, with every third weekend that's really not that much and holidays actually believe it or not I've been in the medical field for over 24 years because I did nursing assistant before that but I've never worked Christmas Day because there's always been someone that has switched with which us is awesome. which is fabulous yeah. yes so I would say my hours um, and just when you have sound crass a good save you know like when someone comes in that um, you know that is really not in good shape um, and you they have make, a successful yeah. um, resuscitation that's probably the best yeah. feeling ever so do you treat every patient as your own um you mean as like, do I treat my patient as I would want my family treated or do I treat yeah. every patient in the R E R as my own? Yeah. Um, yes, I, I try to be consistent with my patients. Um, you know, there are those difficult patients and sometimes they can push your buttons, um, but I try to treat everyone the same. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else? I don't think so. You threw in an extra question. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't.